in reality, the kind of objects that classical mechanics can describe always have a non-zero size. For an example, the physics of very small particles, such as the electron, is more accurately described by quantum mechanics. But entering a subject, such as it is quantum mechanics itself, requires a lot of keys, referring to the knowledge and proficiency that is necessary of many different branches, many of which can be founded in areas such as mathematics, physics, chemistry and so on. However, to explain further, objects with non-zero size have more complicated behavior than hypothetical point particles, because of the additional degrees of freedom. A baseball can spin while it is moving, for example. However, the results for point particles can be used to study such objects by treating them as composite objects, made up of a large number of interacting point particles. The center of mass of a composite object behaves like a point particle. Classical mechanics uses common sense notions of how matter and forces exist and interact. It assumes that matter and energy have definite, knowable, attributes, such as where an object is in space and its speed. It also assumes that objects may be directly influenced only by their immediate surroundings, known as the principle of locality. In quantum mechanics, an object may have either its position or velocity undetermined.